Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Catch On TV application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole setup is going to be super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get the Catch On application to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we just go to search on your device by clicking on that button with the magnifying glass icon and then in the search bar start typing the loader and now as you can see the downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app let's click on the loader and that's the app which you need to get to your device but after you get the loader it's not over yet we still need to set it up so in order to actually set up the loader we'll have to go to the settings on your fire stick by clicking on that button with the gear icon, then you scroll down and go to My Far TV. Let's open it. And from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick. And now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. And now, as you can see, for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have appeared for us right here. Let's open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then go to install on apps. From here, just locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. We open it. And there is the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to the Netherlands right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for an word. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we're gonna go to the list of apps on your device, once again. There it is. And just open the loader and of course wait until the app loads for you. Then here on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on home and then in that search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be 28907. So once again, your code is 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly really helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. 
And now after the website has opened, we just have to scroll down a bit until you find that list of categories. And from here, all you have to do is click on the IPTV players, which is right here. So we click on IPTV players and now a list of apps has opened for us. And there's the catch on TV, which we are looking for. Let's click on it. Then an ad might pop up for you. If it does pop up, don't worry and just click on close or on X to actually close down the ad. In my case, we'll have to click on close and in a couple of moments, a new web page is going to load for us. There it is. And we also need to scroll it down until you find that download button right here. But if for some reason the download doesn't start and the button doesn't work, you can always use the backup download link, which is located just below the usual download button. But for now, we'll use the usual button, so we click on it, and now the download should start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on the connection speed of your device. Then you click on install and wait until Catch on TV get installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV. And after that, after the install was finished, don't click on Open yet, instead press on Done, because this way we'll have an option to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device. So click on Delete and then Delete once again. This way we'll get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't have too much of free space on your device anyway. Then finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Fire TV, right here. And there at the bottom you'll find Catch on TV, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, Catch on TV is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.